people covered in a fungus are chasing you. They have no self-control. They're zombies, and they want to infect you. It sounds like a video game, doesn't it? But the fungus is real. And it's ready to spread. Could it actually infect you? This is your body on the zombie fungus. The cordyceps fungus uses its spores to infect an insect. The fungus takes root in the muscles, making them move against their will. The infected bug crawls to an area where the fungus can reproduce, like the underside of a leaf. Here, the fungus slowly eats the insect's insides. Eventually, it bursts out, spreading spores to more unwitting victims. While insects may be at risk, could the cordyceps fungus infect humans? And could it turn you into a zombie? Infection. Now, while the cordyceps fungus won't attack a human, let's imagine a new mutation that could. Spores land and attach to your body. They dig into you. It takes the fungus 24 hours to work its way inside an ant, so it will likely take longer than that to penetrate you. But if the fungus adapts to humans, maybe it would be faster especially if you inhaled it. Could a fungus that infects ants jump to humans, like the swine flu or avian flu? Well, it's unlikely, but it could find another creature as a stepping stone. I am Parasite. The Black Death Plague initially passed from insects to rats, and then rats passed it on to humans. Eventually, one-third of the population of Europe died from it. The fungus. The fungus spreads across your skin and throughout your body. It discolors your skin after a few days and you develop poor motor function. Could this fungal infection kill you? Or would your antibodies destroy it first? If you've had athlete's foot or jock itch, you've had a fungal infection. But those aren't the only ones you can get. Fungal diseases kill approximately 1.3 million people every year. That's more than malaria. He's dead. It's too much. Behavior changes. The cordyceps fungus can penetrate ants, and it's able to do this without infecting the brain itself. The fungus releases chemicals called neuromoderators that keep the brain healthy as it attacks the rest of the body. It can then control the ant like a puppet. A freaky zombie puppet. As the cordyceps fungus spreads throughout your body, your mind is no longer your own. And there's a definite change in your behavior. You become more aggressive. Okay, but could a fungus actually control you? In two minutes, she's going to become a zombie. The mania and delirium of the Salem witch trials resulted from people eating rye bread infected with the ergot fungus. The same fungus is believed to cause the convulsive delirium known as St. Anthony's Fire that has been in Europe for thousands of years. Sprouting. A few days in, the fungus has sprouted throughout your body. It looks like various types of mushrooms are bursting through your skin. Your sight is failing. You have limited control of your actions. The cordyceps fungus has released a chemical into your system that causes your muscles to contract. It compels you to find a secluded location. This is your final resting place, but 
your body is not still. Spores from the fungus in your body spread in the air to infect more people. The entire process, from infection to death, lasts about 14 days in an ant. But this mutant cordyceps fungus that attacks humans could take between two to four weeks. Although humans contract all sorts of fungal infections, it's unlikely that any infection could jump from ants to humans and then create a video game-like epidemic. It might seem scary, but the cordyceps fungus isn't all bad. It's been used in Chinese medicine for centuries, and scientists believe it could have anti-aging and tumor-fighting properties. Thankfully, the cordyceps fungus won't turn you into a zombie. We're fine! Everything's under control! But there are other creepy crawlies that could work their way into your brain. We'll have a look at what happens when you get brain worms on another episode of Your Body On.